Welcome to Strategy 2050 Review in Analytical Internet Portal. I'm your host, Asir Stubaldna, and today I'm joined by Arman Bataev, Deputy Director of Investments Department at AIFC Business Connect. Arman, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for the invitation. If you could tell us, uh, why do we need investment literacy? Um, it's, it helps actually to like, uh, individuals and uh, to legal entities to manage their capital uh, more efficiently. So in terms of personal finance, uh, it helps uh, to be more independent financially mm -hmm. and uh, to have a savings uh, during your uh, pension. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, people uh, feel more confident mm -hmm. so when they have uh, like the reserves, financial reserves, they can achieve more because um, I mean they will not have to worry about day-to-day uh, -day, uh, like food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if they have uh, financial independence, financial freedom, uh, they are more tend to achieve their dreams, their goals, and overall our society will benefit from it. Mm -hmm. So that's about wha what about like why. Uh, Financial literacy, uh, financial literacy, and for individual persons is important, mm -hmm. like to make uh, more sustainable uh, society. Mm -hmm. And what are some of the means of investments that Kazakh citizens mainly use? Uh, we can see actually from numbers. Um, if you uh, see from the where money flows, mm -hmm. let's say, so where people keep money. So there are two main instruments. Uh, first, of course, is deposit, mm -hmm. which has a um, very small uh, entrance uh, limit, let's say, yes. Like mm -hmm. you can deposit any amount. And uh, so we have almost 29, as of uh, September 1, we have $29 billion in uh, deposits mm -hmm. uh, and more of them, more than half in Kazakhstan Tenge. Uh, almost the same amount, 28 billion, is legal entities they also have in deposits. And second uh, financial instrument is uh, c um, property. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, uh, our people like to be landlords, mm -hmm. yeah, so for. Uh, not m like most of them, they are apartments here yeah, to mm -hmm. rent out and also so some of them have commercial property, but, uh, but it has a uh, high entrance limit. Yeah, mm -hmm. So to even to buy two bedroom apartment, you will need to have uh, quite substantial amount. Mm -hmm. So these are main two main uh, financial instruments. The next ones, uh, they are much more smaller. For example, mutual funds, which are becoming popular for uh, in the last two years, uh, they have overall also like as of I think as of first July, it has uh, overall three hundred million dollars. So it's uh, hundred times yeah mm -hmm. less than what's in deposits. Developed countries and. Uh, um, the share is different. Mm -hmm. Usually, uh, the long-term capital is always in uh, like stock markets, in capital markets, in mutual funds, in mm -hmm. investment funds. So our people, uh, unfortunately, they don't know a lot about other instruments other than deposit and um, ab about property yeah? mm -hmm. and apartments. So if you ask any Kazakh citizen, uh, where is the uh, uh, best mm -hmm. rates for mm -hmm. the deposits, they will know for sure. Yeah. Though there is a difference will be 0 0.5 maybe, mm -hmm. yeah? And uh, if you ask uh, where to buy apartment and to live and uh, what's the average um, like for one square meter the mm -hmm. price and who is a uh, good developer and the construction company, the each of them will know, mm -hmm. but uh, when you ask, uh, for example, what is um, ETF for SPY, S&P 500, 
I think very um, few will know about that. Mm -hmm. And what could be the way, ways to raise awareness of people in financial literacy, in financial instruments, as you mentioned? Um, it's uh, we have to work with our society uh, from schools, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, because uh, as, I, as I remember, when we studied in the U.S., uh, even uh, like when we first classes, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, we t we took it was about actually like uh, filing taxes about uh, ma uh, managing and about account uh, managing capital accounting so though most of the my classmates were from engineering school mm -hmm. can you imagine so uh, first classes that they are taking it's general for example in kazakhstan the general classes are kazakh language russian language kazakh history mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. uh, for the i mean in universities uh, there, it's m mainly like, for example, we had management 200. So, the basics of uh, uh, how to manage money mm -hmm. is taught. Uh, I think they have even in their high schools. So, I think we need to start uh, in our sc from our schools because uh, neither in schools nor in universities is being taught. So, we have actually grown up people who don't know mm -hmm. anything about uh, securities, equity, bonds, mutual funds, ETFs. Mm -hmm. So, uh, like, uh, it, it's, where it's, I think, in schools we have to start. Mm -hmm. And what are your thoughts on the impact of the pandemic on investments globally and in Kazakhstan, including retail investors? Um, globally, we see that it's uh, hype, yeah, let's say, mm -hmm. the uh, current trends. Uh, Thanks to the democratization of uh, investing through such ap apps like Robinhood in the U.S., uh, in Russia it's uh, Tinkoff, in Kazakhstan it's uh, um, I think uh, Tabus, mm -hmm. it's uh, AIX, Art uh, AIFC mm -hmm. exchanges uh, project which are for retail investors and like uh, applications like Rusan Invest. Mm -hmm. So they help actually to increase uh, retail investor base in our country also. So it's overall trend, uh, but in Kazakhstan, I don't think it's uh, so much trendy as in other countries, because for example, if we compare with Russia, mm -hmm. not, we are not comparing with the US, which was uh, yeah. far like uh, b like far above mm -hmm. on the level of financial literacy yeah. if we compare with Russia so they have I think almost uh, 10 9 10 percent of economically active people who are mm -hmm. investing in stock markets and who um, and who keep their savings in equities which is more preferable for the long-term investment um, in comparing to our, our country, I think we have, uh, yeah, we have actually increase in uh, retail investor numbers. So if uh, for the 30 years mm -hmm. we had only uh, 110,000 uh, accounts, right now I think as of uh, like October 1 or no, September 1, we have uh, almost 190,000. Mm -hmm. So there was actually almost uh, in one year, uh, plus uh, we had so much accounts that we were able to have, like I don't know, mm -hmm. in 20, 30 years here before. Mm -hmm. So we are also in trend uh, with uh, other countries. Uh, I think it will take uh, take up more. Um, it it will become more popular investments because mm -hmm. only right now. Uh, most of the investment uh, banks, uh, investment houses, brokers uh, st started to invest in financial literacy. Well, most of them have uh, their own academies. Mm -hmm. So there is Freedom Finances, uh, mm -hmm. Freedom Finance Academy. There is Jusan Invest Academy. So this is um, a becoming trend. Mm -hmm. So um, most of them are what they are doing. They are actually uh, nurturing their future uh, clients. Mm -hmm. So they understand that you can't uh, just uh, market and attract people. You have to first 
uh, nurture them, so mm -hmm. they will know what it is actually investments. Mm -hmm. And if we talk um, at the country or government level, what are the main trends in investment sector, or what are the uh, some of the new areas for investments that Kazakhstan could capitalize on? Mm -hmm. uh, so um, it was always um, about uh, natural resources. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we, uh, I think, well, we have to use our uh, advantages, competitive advantage advantages. Mm -hmm. Uh, all over uh, in the world right now there are energy crises yeah so they don't have enough gas oil they don't have enough uh, uranium uh, and uh, even coal thanks god uh, we have all of these resources mm -hmm. um, in abundance so what we just need to do we just need to have more value added in this so for example if it's oil and gas so it's it should be petrochemistry products mm -hmm. yeah uh, i don't know if it's uh, coal we have to clean it up and sell uh, like energy mm -hmm. yeah it's because it has more value added uh, so we have to use this uh, competitive advantage and we have vast uh, lands so there are lots of uh, studies uh, that says that kazakhstan with its territory is able to feed almost uh, 500 million people mm -hmm. and we are not using that uh, capacity actually at all and moreover we in the last 30 years unfortunately we uh, lost some of the lands which were before used for agricultural purpose mm -hmm. I mean uh, which was irrigation system so irrigation system is decreased mm -hmm. because uh, government should invest in those mm -hmm. uh, sectors as like infrastructure uh, yeah, uh, irrigation system in agriculture so this and of course it's a uh, technology yeah we can uh, we are landlocked country so uh, through uh, IT services for, through technology we we can just ignore that we are landlocked mm -hmm. and we can uh, export this uh, high value added um, services abroad Mm -hmm. and uh, become another, I don't know, like uh, IT uh, country which could be outsourced by uh, Silicon Valley or mm -hmm. like more developed countries so that uh, we will have uh, more um, qualified uh, ca uh, human capital yeah, by working them then they will hear, they, they will open up their own startups so I see these uh, three main uh, industries which can be um, like which where we have competitive advantage and maybe we can uh, have more value added mm -hmm. so of course but uh, there are lots of opportunities I mean uh, almost in every industry uh, Kazakhstan uh, Kazakhstan's government gives uh, some uh, tax exemptions we have uh, 13 uh, special economic zones with mm -hmm. their specific uh, economic activity uh, so except for uh, like natural resource production almost all of the industries have some kind of um, benefits mm -hmm. yeah opportunities so uh, when the investor comes as AFC Business Connect uh, we are uh, guiding them through all of our governmental programs, uh, tax benefits, and uh, structuring, finding partners here in Kazakhstan, mm -hmm. and doing the due diligence. Uh, because for in foreign investors, it's very important mm -hmm. who are the beneficial owners and uh, trying to keep them uh, uh, off from the politically exposed people. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, we are doing high um, upper level due diligence mm -hmm. for the foreign investors. So I think um, it will pay off. Mm -hmm. And that was the question that I was, uh, was planning to ask about the role of AIFC Business Connect in the attraction of investments, particularly so foreign direct investments. Mm -hmm. So because attracting FDI is a priority for the government, I mean, has been the priority. And if you could elaborate on that, on FDIs? Uh, so, yeah, um, FDI is our main KPI, actually. Mm -hmm. So we are 
um, I, we are being paid if we are <laughs> actually if we fulfill our KPIs on on foreign direct investments. Yeah, we have each uh, team member has an, like a specific number that he has to mm -hmm. attract. Uh, we have people who know the industry, uh, who is industry specialist and uh, who are to contacting with uh, investment funds, with foreign investors who have mandate uh, mm -hmm. specifically in that industry or the country. Uh, unfortunately, not many uh, investment funds and fund managers have mandate to invest uh, in this region. So in terms of uh, competition uh, for foreign direct invest, it's very harsh, mm -hmm. actually, because every country is trying to attract this uh, new technology invest because with investments there comes uh, new technology mm -hmm. new uh, like human capital we are tr trying to be as a medi like mediator mm -hmm. yeah, with an independent entity which uh, checks both sides uh, buy side and sell side mm -hmm. Uh, because we understand that uh, even from foreign investors, they they also need to be checked, and not all of the projects here in Kazakhstan have access mm -hmm. to such uh, platforms like uh, Prekin, Refinitiv, or others. Mm -hmm. So we can be outsourced in that, in that part and uh, outsourced for free, actually. So if they have, I don't know, foreign a partner and they want to check them mm -hmm. like uh, we can do that because we have access uh, and we have subscriptions to specific platforms mm -hmm. thank you for joining us today mm -hmm. you are welcome thank you very much mm -hmm.